everybody. My name is Kevin Today, and I am the CTO of Kurtosis Technologies. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Kurtosis platform to launch a locally running near cluster, which contains all the goodies that you'd expect from Testnet. So that means an indexer, an explorer, and a wallet for helping you with your local development. Kurtosis is a dev tool for making distributed system development easier. And the idea is to make environment management as easy as Docker has made container management. So this means making it easy to start and stop and inspect and share networks of services between various machines. So we're going to start our adventure here on the near Kurtosis module. And a Kurtosis module is just instructions to the Kurtosis engine for how to initialize an environment. Uh, if you want to follow along, we're in github.com slash kurtosis tech slash near kurtosis module. And following the quick start instructions, you're going to have to uh, install Docker and the kurtosis client itself. And then we can get started with launching the cluster. So the kurtosis client could be used to launch the module, but we've actually wrapped it with a bash script to make it even easier to get going. So if we run that command here, we're going to create the launch local near cluster script in our home directory. And if we execute it right now, we're going to see that Kurtosis is pulling down the module where modules are distributed as Docker images and creating an enclave to create the near services inside. Now, Kurtosis has these enclaves, which are like sandbox little gardens to keep all the different environments separate from each other. And if we go over to Docker here, we can see that Kurtosis is creating a bunch of services uh, very concretely in a Docker subnetwork. Now, this is going to take a, about a minute and a half to run. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back. So this module is about to come back. And in just a second, we're going to see a bunch of information printed about the network. And here we go. You can see that there's a bunch of returned values here. So we have the network name, the validator key. But Perhaps the most obvious to see what's happening is the Explorer URL. If we open this in our Chrome, we can see that uh, we have a very low block count because this is an Explorer connected to our local network. And we have all the goodies that we expect from a testnet Explorer running against our local network. Now, interacting with a near network is most easily accomplished through the near CLI. And we can see that we have this alias here, which if we enter it right now, allows us to uh, run all the same commands that a near CLI would have, except it's connected to our local network. So we've set all the necessary flags. And if we run login here, we're going to get redirected to the wallet that is running against the local cluster. And I'm going to go ahead and go through the account creation flow here, which is going to get us up and running with the kevin.test.near account. I'm going to give this access. And now we're going to have a logged in CLI. And with a logged in CLI, we can do things that we would expect, like being able to send near from kevin.test.near to the test.near root account. And we can go ahead and see that actually on the Explorer that's hooked up to our local network right here. Now, I said that Kurtosis has management features for environments, and we can see some of those right down here. So if we run Kurtosis Enclave LS, we'll see that an enclave was created and there's an enclave ID. And if we do Kurtosis Enclave Inspect here, we can see a little bit more detailed information about the enclave. Now, you may need to stop the enclave uh, to free up resources on your machine. So you can go ahead and do Kurtosis Enclave Stop, which would uh, stop the enclave right now. And if we do a Kurtosis Enclave LS again, we can see that this is now stopped. And if we wanted to remove the resources, uh, concretely the Docker containers and all the different folders associated with that, we could run a Kurtosis clean. So that was a quick little tour through the uh, Kurtosis ecosystem. The last thing that I didn't cover is connecting a DAP up to this, but uh, it's as simple as plugging in these different values. So that should give you a little bit of something that you can do. Say if you were on an airplane or you want to deal with quick development times. We are available at the Kurtosis channel on the near Discord server. So if you have any problems or want any assistance or have feature requests, uh, please feel free to hit us up there.